Hey, how's it going everybody? Burr Brian here and welcome back to another Tall Can Tuesday. In this video series, I like to give you updates on my life and the future of the channel, answer random questions, and talk about topics submitted by you, the fine viewers, and of course, drink some good beer. I try to make these videos as short and to the point as possible, but sometimes after a couple beers I might ramble on just a little bit, so let me apologize in advance if this video goes on for a little while, but hey, you get to look at this beautiful face. So before I jump into the handful of topics I have for you guys tonight, the beer I'm going to be drinking is called Meltdown from one of my all-time absolute favorite breweries, talking about Six Point Brewing out of Brooklyn, New York. This one features a Mandarina, Bavaria, and Mosaic Hops. Uh, it sounds absolutely amazing. It's an IPA at 7.8%, and you just can't go wrong with IPAs from Six Point. So without further ado, let's go ahead and pop the top on this bad boy and see what we've got on the pour. Oh yeah, man, it's a beautiful looking IPA and I can just smell those hops wafting over to me, man. Uh, it smells like a, a juicy, kind of like a New England style IPA, kind of that hazy uh, look to it, and that's kind of what I'm getting on the aroma, but this one's for all of you. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Hope you're all having a great week so far. Cheers. Oh, wow. That is really good. It has a, uh, a slight bite from the alcohol just at the end there, but you really do get a nice, juicy, fruity-like flavor. It's got kind of a good medium mouthfeel to it. Absolutely outstanding, delicious IPA, perfect for tonight. Again, it's not a super huge tall can. I know this is Tall Can Tuesday, but I'm trying not to drink a whole lot of beers. Uh, but I do have two of these just in case. It's, that's a big can, 24 ounces. Um, but I, I haven't been having any beers over the last several days, so I wanted something really good that I could just have a couple on and, and get a nice buzz. Uh, and I think this one is perfect. I want to remind you that if you have any questions, topics, anything you'd like to hear me discuss in next week's video or in any future Tall Can Tuesday video, leave them down below in the comments and I'll be sure to read them over and give an appropriate response via video in the following Tall Can Tuesday. First thing I wanted to touch on real quick was last week was the elections. Uh, it was the uh, midterm elections. Everybody was uh, hyped up about voting. I hope you went out and voted no matter what side you choose, left or right, or in the middle, or you wrote in a candidate, just as long as you went out and voted. Hopefully you paid attention to your polling stations, and I noticed stuff, and I, I wish I would have known more about the legality, but, you know, like, when I went to my precinct, it's a rather poor, uh, I live on kind of a, a poor side of town, and so... I, I just, there were a lot of things iffy, you know, as soon as you come walking up to the front door, there were like a group of eight to ten people all standing there, handing you a slip that said, here's how you should vote. In this case, it was all Democratic candidates. Just vote for these candidates. And on the other side, it said, vote for these amendments, yes or no, in this order. After looking online, that is apparently pretty legal. I mean, it's a big no-no at the polling stations, at least within 100 feet of the front door. And these people were... 100 feet in the front door and actually this Saturday I'm going to go back out there with a, um, a measuring tape because I decided finally I should probably write my supervisor of elections uh, and, and see what she thinks about that. Uh, and I did get a response immediately as soon as I sent out the letter expressing my concerns about that uh, but also the uh, Florida statute that says that you're supposed to have a, a deputy on site at every one of these polling places to make sure that things are, people are, are being polite to each other, there's nothing bad happening, and that all of these standard rules are being followed. Well, there was no deputy anywhere around that place. Uh, if there was, if it was the old man that was wandering around inside, he wasn't a very nice guy, and he wasn't really paying attention to anything going on around him. So honestly, Florida is pretty screwed up when it comes to their elections. I don't know why we always have all of these problems, like especially all of these mysterious ballots that seem to uh, just appear out of nowhere. Uh, that just doesn't happen anywhere else in the country except for these counties repeatedly almost every election But it is what it is Anyway point being if you go to a polling station and you see something that isn't right say something or you know My plan is I actually have set my alarms now my calendar is set for the next couple years anytime any election comes up 
uh, that I have to go to a vote, vote at this polling station. I'm actually going to try to take that day off from work and see if I can just uh, bring my camera around and, and kind of audit and make sure that these polling stations are following orders because it was amazing the stupidity of the people around me who, who you know, didn't take five minutes to look at the, the amendments. They were asking, anybody have one of those cheat sheets that, that says what the amendments are? I, I don't know what they are. And, and I just kept thinking, my God, none of these people even bothered to look at any of the facts and, and all they did was a lot of them I noticed had that blue slip in their hand so they were going to go in there and just vote down exactly what that little slip guided them to vote on and that's that's just kind of sad it's not people using their intelligence to actually cast a vote towards something it's them just lining up like sheep and doing what they're told but that's all I got on the politics front. Stay tuned because tomorrow I will be putting out a new hot sauce review. Yes, I know a new hot sauce review. It has been a very, very long time since I did a hot sauce review, and I apologize about that. I just really haven't felt motivated to do it. And, and then every now and then you'll go to YouTube and you'll read comments on previous videos that you've made, like El Yucatico. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, you, you read some negative reviews and you just really don't feel like motivated to get back out and do so or, you know anything again video-wise. Uh, but I do have some great products some people sent me, and it's hard for me to say, no, I'm not going to do a video when they're nice enough to send me all this stuff. So uh, just a sneak peek, I have my friend uh, who owns, um, what is this, uh, the Captain Caliente Hot Sauce. And, uh, you know, he sent me three different ones. This is their Super Magnificent Hot Pepper Vinegar, which is going to be nice. I'll try that with, like, um, some malt and vinegar kind of uh, mixture for some fries or something like that. Uh, that ought to be fun. But he sent me two other sauces, his green sauce as well as the red. And I also have a, uh, a set of four sauces from Gringo Bandito. And uh, if you don't know, that's actually a sauce that's created by one of the band members from Green Day. If you don't know who Green Day is, well, then I don't know where you've been living uh, or how you've never heard of a, a, uh, a band like that. But they've been around for quite a long time. Uh, and they've made some really awesome alternative music over the years. <laughs> Interestingly, probably one of the best concerts I ever went to was a Green Day concert. I mean, it was amazing. We went, they played all of my favorite songs, all the classics from, you know, the old albums. You got your Dookie and uh, Time of Your Life, just so many classics. And then they were also playing some of the new stuff as well. And what was really awesome about it, though, is that one of their songs, I wish I could remember which one, but they call out to the audience and say, hey, who knows how to play guitar? And people were raising their hands, so they pulled somebody out of the stage Strap the guitar on him, guitar player was showing him some of the moves, showing him uh, some of the tabs, things to hit, uh, tabs, notes, whatever. He was showing him what he needed to play. Uh, then they pulled out a drummer and they pulled out a bass player. And it was just awesome to see, you know, Green Day performing with audience members and still rocking the fuck out. It was really badass. And I think those guys, uh, the kids who ended up doing that, ended up, I think they took down their address, They and I think they were going to mail them uh, the instruments or something after the show, which was super, super awesome. What a cool experience for those band members, for the, or band members, for the audience members that are, you know, huge fans, to be able to get up on stage and jam some of your favorite songs with the band. I mean, that's just an awesome experience. So I'm really looking forward to cracking open those sauces uh, and giving them a, a review and giving you a little bit more of a history behind Gringo Bandito. Aside from that, I do still have the uh, beer putt game. I'm going to break it out. I keep saying I'm going to do it and I never do because I'm just such a lazy bastard these days. Like all I do is work and I feel terrible about that. And part of, you know, I'm actually on a week vacation right now. Part of that, part of this time is for me to try to relax. I want to get everything in order. I've already started on getting my room uh, rearranged, reorganized. I'm getting new lighting installed. Um, I've got a, a nice liquor cabinet that's coming along kind of slowly building bottle at, you know, here and there so that anytime I feel like making someone or if I have guests over, it's just nice to be able to say, well, what do you want? And if they say, what do you got? Well, I can make anything that you want. So uh, that's kind of what I'm shooting for is to have a nice bar selection like that. Um, and at the same time, maybe try to phase out the beer because it's beer is very heavy. Uh, it's filling. That doesn't mean I'm going to drink a lot more alcohol. It means I need to get out more, uh, get away from the house. And now that the weather is finally finally starting to cool down in Florida. It finally is starting to feel like fall, and it's a great thing. I think they say this weekend we're actually supposed to see lows down into the 30s, which is awesome. I haven't seen that in so long, uh, and I've really been looking forward to it. So it's going to be like highs in the low 60s to, you know, lows in the high 30s, and that's fucking awesome.
Aside from that, man, I really don't have a whole lot else to talk about, and I don't want this video to go on and on like I mentioned at the beginning. Uh, I, do, I do, again, want to say thank you to all of you who do support the videos. Uh, watch, share with your friends. If you don't share, nobody really sees it, and YouTube's algorithm really sucks nowadays. So, you know, even if, I don't know, man, maybe it's, it's just the topics, it's the things that I, I put, put out don't really have a, a whole lot of interest. Um, this this video, these this particular series isn't meant to be, you know, fancy and, and a lot of edits and stuff. I might do jump cuts and whatnot, but it's not really meant to be a lot of, you know, cool stuff. It's just a, a heart to heart, just to talk uh, over a good beer about things going on in life and whatnot. Um, and I used to have a lot of good interaction with this series, and I love that because people would comment and uh, give me ideas of things to talk about, and I just don't have that anymore. I really miss a lot of those people that... Uh, you know, I used to to interact with that followed on this channel. Most of them have faded away, but there are a few that still cling on. And to those that are still clinging on, thank you so much for your support. I love you guys. Salute. Definitely a really tasty beer. Anyway, love you guys, and as always, stay toasty, my friends.